to see why she's confused. Let's go ahead and give you a look inside the preschool here right now. You can see some children's cubbies. You can see a child's chair. Well, she says that she's been trying to get her daughter enrolled here for weeks, and they just haven't been open for business. Jerry Covington wants to enroll her baby into this Episcopal Children's Services Early Head Start program on the north side and wants to know why they're not open for business yet. Well, my concern is the specific location is to service the north side. Action News Jack told you in May of this year when ECS took on the Early Head Start responsibilities. The programs were stripped away from Lutheran Services Florida after federal inspections. We learned the federal government found LSF's program had four deficiencies and five areas of non-compliance during a review. Covington first tried to enroll her baby girl here in August. So I'm a single mom. Um, I've kind of been waiting on it and waiting on it. I went to ECS headquarters on Bay Meadows to find out what's keeping the program from opening. They said no one was available to talk to me. But I later received a statement from CEO Connie Stoffel reading in part, quote, the city of Jacksonville needs documentation that was not on file from the previous program in order for ECS to be properly permitted to open the program. We are in the final stages of obtaining the certificate of use. After getting its COU from the city, ECS says it will get a child care license from DCF. Covington says it's a service her family needs. You definitely want to be able to, to use the program. And the statement also goes on to say our teachers are providing home-based services to all of our enrolled children and families. Now, we will be sure to follow this story as it goes forward. Reporting on the north side, Ryan Nelson, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.